When we did our brief series on optimization and innovation in your trading, we spoke about the use of marginal gains to improve your all round performance and strength of your trading strategy. However, when it comes to optimizing through marginal gains, most traders switch their attention to the objects and indicators on their chart. But really, it's your performance as a trader that makes the largest contribution to your success. With that in mind, we need to consider any marginal gains that can be made to our abilities that will therefore enhance our trading performance. One of these things is what we use to stimulate our minds, and in the case of today's video, we'll be looking at music. I recently set a member of our team the task of jumping down the rabbit hole of scientific studies on the role of music and to come up with a conclusive answer for the right type of music to use for trading and other complex tasks. Unfortunately, it wasn't so straightforward, as what you find is a lot of conflicting information. So we went through the various studies to filter through all of that and try to figure out a logical approach based on the science that can help enhance your performance as a trader. Of course, this isn't necessarily the be all and end all since there is so much conflicting information out there, but we can pretty much guarantee that this will have a positive effect. So in any case, it is still a useful marginal gain in this area. And the same thinking can be applied to other complex work as well outside of trading. So without further ado, here's a summary of what we found and all the sources for the information are in the description box below. Before we start trading, it doesn't really matter so much about our level of concentration. The more important thing at this point is to be getting in the correct headspace for working. Ideally for trading, we want to be alert, focused, and without any stress, anxiety, or any other emotions that may influence our decision-making process or ability to concentrate on what we need to achieve in that session. Before we start trading, it's a good idea to get stuck into 15 minutes of our favorite tracks before we get going. One particular study from the Journal of Music Therapy states that listening to 15 minutes of music of personal liking significantly reduces stress. They found through a study of different types of music that the actual type of music didn't matter. The defining factor was actually how much the subject enjoyed that piece of music. The more they liked the music, the more relaxation they found, regardless of the type of music and whether it was intended to be soothing or not. A study by the Montreal Neurological Institute also shows that music affects our mood by causing our brain to release dopamine. This has an important effect since positive moods lead to higher work performance while negative moods reduce work performance. So it's important that you pick something you enjoy to listen to 15 minutes before you start which will therefore be reducing stress and releasing dopamine. Just try and make sure that it's something that makes you feel energetic and alive. Although perhaps not that. During your trading session is another beast altogether and we need to be very careful about what choices we make here. Daniel Kahneman's limited capacity model outlines that there is only a limited amount of attention that we can deploy at any specific point in time. This means that while performing simultaneous tasks, there is a trade-off of attention based on the level of arousal of each task. So basically, if we want to complete tasks simultaneously at the same time, we need to have the same amount of attention in total that we would need for each of those individual tasks combined. So if we don't have the available attention for both, one of them is going to suffer due to something called the attention drainage effect. What this means in terms of music is that we need to avoid what's called higher involvement music. This would include things like hip hop. You're getting way too big for your boots. You're never too big for the boot. I got the big size toes on my feet. Your face ain't big for my boots. Which requires a higher division of attention due to the lyrics and beat than something like light classical music. Or even no music at all. 
two other studies elaborated on this by saying that industrial music, or music with any lyrics, would diminish efficiency in complex mental work. One research study shows that even while engaging in simpler tasks, like reading in the presence of music, if you have higher involvement music playing, you'll experience a reduced task completion rate. In other words, you'll start reading slower. Now, that's something simple like reading. So imagine the effect on reading the charts and comprehending what it's showing you and then being able to make good decisions based on that. That's a little bit more complex. However, on the other hand, a study indicates that the difference in involvement is not necessarily dependent on it being classical or hip hop or whatever else, but rather on our familiarity with the music. The more familiar you are with the music, the less attention it drains out of the other tasks being completed, since the brain is not focused on decoding the message that's being delivered in the song. In addition to that, music increases vigilance regardless of the type of music it is, as stated by another study in the Journal of Perceptual and Motor Skills. All these research points can be confusing and seem so conflicting at times that you'll probably end up just sitting there listening to the brown note, which isn't advisable. So basically, we can deduce from all of this that you should have music that contains limited or no lyrics and no strong distracting beats, such as industrial music. It should also be something you're familiar with. However, here's the real kicker. Another study shows that music shouldn't be something that you strongly like or dislike. It needs to be pleasing, but not something you absolutely love or absolutely hate. Otherwise, it reduces your concentration as you increase your involvement in the music. Now, my personal recommendation is to just listen to a playlist of ambient music. There are some really great ones on YouTube for free. However, some people may just decide to opt for silence. This is also a good choice, although music prevents the unconscious brain from focusing on other external distractions that it needs to process. This enhances a person's conscious ability to focus on the task at hand. Therefore, music that can mask external noises but can still be ignored is much better than having no music at all. It's common knowledge that traders should not make decisions in an emotional state since their judgment is considered to be compromised at that point in time. As mentioned earlier, music affects our mood by causing our brains to release dopamine. This can help us avoid extreme moods. In 2011, scientists worked with a band called Marconi Union to produce what is meant to be the most relaxing tune ever. The song is called Weightless, and we've linked a 10 hour version in the description box down below. Studies found Weightless was 11% more relaxing than any other song, and even made many of the women drowsy in the lab. It induced a 65% reduction in overall anxiety, and brought them to a level 35% lower than their usual resting rates. So, although we want to feel alert when we're trading and have no risk of drowsiness, this song may prove to be the perfect antidote at times of significant stress, such as after a losing trade or at the end of your trading session. The harmonic intervals, or gaps between notes, have been chosen to create a feeling of euphoria and comfort, and there is no repeating melody which allows your brain to completely switch off because you're no longer trying to predict what's coming next. Instead, there are random chimes which helps to induce a deeper sense of relaxation. The final element is the low whooshing sounds and hums that are like Buddhist chants that put you in a trance-like state. Now, guys, excuse me while I take a weightless nap. Our approach while learning is slightly different to when we're actually trading actively and know what we're doing. Another research conducted proved that while learning something new, music does actually act as a distraction, especially for complex tasks since the process is cognitively demanding. However, once the task has been practiced and we get to a level where we're comfortable carrying it out, listening to preferred music can actually increase accuracy. This means it's likely to be better to learn something in silence. 
However, as mentioned previously, this can sometimes lead to external distractions that we can't control. So in these cases, some light background ambient type music may be preferable. While all of the different music choices we've stated are important for us, it's also really important to consider our own personal characteristics. Just because studies show that industrial music or death metal is unlikely to aid concentration, I wonder why, this doesn't necessarily mean that you can't choose to listen to that if you find it helps you perform better. In fact, it has been proven that these individual characteristics do matter. For example, the optimum arousal threshold for extroverted individuals is much higher than that of introverted individuals. This means that they may need the stimulus from music, whereas for introverts, the extra music may tend to overwhelm them or reduce focus and impede performance. So, with all of this being said, you need to experiment and find what's right for you. But if you want to follow what we've spoken about in this video, let's quickly sum up what we've discussed. So before your trading session, listen to 15 minutes of your favourite music that gets you in a positive mood. Then during your trading session, listen to something that isn't demanding and has no lyrics that you're familiar with. I'd recommend something like ambient music. When you're feeling stressed, check out the Weightless track by Marconi Union or go back to the 15 minutes of your favourite music as you had been doing before the start of your trading session. And while you're learning to trade, opt for silence if possible or some light ambient music to drown out background noise if necessary. So there you have it. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you share it with your friends if you think that they might need their own boost in their productivity and performance. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and see you soon.